Watch out Rode, Sarah Monik, and Sony. There is a well-known lighting company that's bringing some serious audio quality recording equipment that's geared towards all types of content creators. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. The good folks over at Godox sent me over their WMIC S1 kit for me to check out. And I gotta tell you, this little kit is freaking amazing. As many of you know from watching my channel or any live shows or anything like that, I do not tolerate bad audio. As a matter of fact, bad audio is inexcusable as a content creator in my opinion. You could be the most creative person in the world, but if your audio sucks, you are done. The Godox WMIC S1 is a wireless system that's designed for mobile journalists, videographers, vloggers, and content creators alike to be used with a camera, a phone, or anything like that. The kit that Godox sent over to me is this two transmitter kit, which is about 250 bucks at the time of this recording, but there is a one transmitter option that you can pick up for about 180 bucks. For both of those kits, the links are in the description below if you want to check them out. Now, so far, everything that you've heard has been shot with the WMIC S1 system. No post-production has been done at all, although I may mess with the gain a little bit. I can change the volume on the transmitter itself. So I was outside for a little bit, which you'll see, and so I may have messed with the volume a little bit. The Godox WMIC S1 is able to bring in clear sound from what they say is upwards of a whopping 328 feet and offers a complete solution for streaming or recording dialogue, interviews, lectures, speech, one person talking, you name it, it can do it all. And I gotta be honest with you with the setup, the setup was a breeze, basically it's plug and play. Depending on which kit that you get, it'll come with one or two of the body pack transmitters that you put directly on yourself with an omnidirectional lavalier mic, which is included, and that is directly shots fired at the new Rode Wireless Go 2. It comes with a receiver that mounts on or plugs directly into your DSLR or mirrorless camera. And Godox has also included an XLR output cable if you plan on using an even more super duper professional camera. The system offers 96 frequencies to choose from to avoid wireless signal interference, now the transmitter and the receiver both operate on two AA batteries, but can also be powered via USB type C. And if your camera doesn't have a headphone jack, you can monitor your sound via the receiver's three and a half millimeter headphone output while you're recording to make sure that you're capturing a clean signal. There is a lot of goodness that's packed into these particular wireless lav systems and I gotta tell you, again, it is pretty freaking amazing for the price point. If you compare this to the wildly popular and very good Rode Wireless Go 2, those two transmitter sets are gonna run you about $50 more or $299, and that doesn't include the two lav mics that's already included with this Godox set. Now granted, you cannot use the W Mic S1 without the lav mics, that's the downside. However, even with the Wireless Go 1 that I have from Rode, I purchased their lav mic to pair with it, which was an additional $80, and use that exclusively with the Wireless Go kit. The way I'm saying it is, I haven't yet one time, outside of the video itself of doing a review of it, used the Wireless Go kit without a lav mic. So for me, the lav mic is... I like it being included because I don't have to pay 80 bucks for it. I say all of this to say from a value perspective, the Godox is right up there. But let's jump outside and see how this thing performs in some of the vlogging tests. Let's do this test using the Godox uh, W Mic S1. So this is obviously filmed on a Canon EOS R. I'm walking backwards. Um, as you can see, I'm probably at this point, I'm 25-ish feet away. There's a baseball field behind me. I'm going to continue walking this way. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Oh, that's correct. No, that's okay. Turn around. Okay. Uh, good day. Uh, oh, good day. Hey, hey, so you can hear uh, the field. Oh, 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 in, uh, in between second and third base. So you can see exactly what this is. Again, this is the EOS R. Non-big dummy part this time. Actually, I have the antennas pointed towards me, you know, like n any normal person would be when they're trying to attempt to uh, showcase how well this thing actually works. So Now I'm just inside on the uh, 
where we're halfway between second and third. I am now directly halfway between second and third. This is the Google Pixel 4a 5G 4K 60 frames a second. Uh, I do have it plugged directly into the three and a half uh, millimeter headphone jack, still walking backwards like I did that on the iPhone and did on the Canon EOS R. Still holding it in my hand as well. Still clipped to me and I accidentally hit the button, so hopefully that doesn't mess up my recording. Again, Again back where I'm okay. I was getting okay. a little feeling of the walk. Hopefully, that are listen ring and not that that's good feet, which is part of the scene right now. That doesn't seem to be the case. I am now halfway between second and third. There you go. You can clearly see that even at an uncomfortable distance away from the camera, the audio was still nice and clear. And this is when the drop started happening. I mentioned it on the outside. They say you can get about 300 feet. I didn't get the 300, 328 feet. Uh, I think from 175 to 220, you're probably fine. I found that it used, it worked with the phone a little bit better. Once I actually got the antennas pointed the right way, that definitely boosted it up. But I don't think from 300 feet, I would absolutely trust it because as you saw there, it was cutting out. I don't plan on ever being that far away from my phone for really any reason at all. Um, it, I don't see the need to do that for exactly what I'm doing. I get it from a content creator perspective. You may want to be far away, but 300 feet is a long freaking way. And I don't see really why that would have to be that way for the majority of people, like 98% of the people, 50 feet, a hundred feet. You got, you got more than enough connection there not to worry about it at all. That being said, I absolutely love the value that you're getting in all the microphones that you're getting these days. So if you're looking to pick up the WMIC S1, make sure you check out the description below for all of the details. So from a price point perspective, I definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you don't have anything else like that. If you're looking at the Rode Wireless Go 2, definitely do some comparisons. Again, I don't think you're gonna be that far away. Yes, you do have to use like the wireless lab kit. It's not a big deal, honestly. I prefer it because I can hide it a little bit better rather than that giant square that I have to put it on my pocket or anything like that. It's just not a look that I'm comfortable with. There are some out there like Mr. Mobile that can pull it off. I am not him. I am a chubbier version of him and it works for him, but not so much for me. So I'm definitely going to the lav mic. So that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Leave a comment below. See you next time.